they're just getting easily. So it's really amazing that. So now I will do this simulation. Uh, I'm not sure if it will show well. Actually, I would like to call someone to try it, but I can't see the whole screen. I don't know if I zoom. Is that getting better there? Uh, what you need to do? Okay. What made it yeah, okay, it's better. Who wants to come? I will. Okay, you come. You'll do an experiment now. Scientific experiment. So, this is the map of the world, like you can see. Oh, there's the map. I... Okay, but it use the globe. Now, what we'll do is think you are at the sea. You will think you are anywhere in the world but close to the sea. And then, okay, not you. You are there, but you see someone, and then they are throwing plastic in the ocean at that point. So think of it, and then click, click on that place in the ocean, and then we'll see what happens. But think like it is close to the land, okay? Anywhere, and then you click. All right, see what's going to happen. I think we'll have to zoom a lot more. So that's the... That's the plastic they, uh, they threw into the ocean. Now watch. Okay, but I don't think we will zoom out more. So either, either okay, because uh, she threw it at a nice place, but this map, I don't know if it moves. Oh, it does. Okay, great. There you go. So look where, where they threw the plastic. And that is showing you a simulation. Okay, you can go back to your place. Thank you. That shows you after 10 years, if people kept throwing plastic at this point, where the plastic will go. This is based on real data. If you go on the website to read, this is based on a real data simulation. Meaning plastic that are thrown here really goes all the way to America. And they've even seen, for example, someone threw a bottle with a message in there from Japan. It was seen on the show somewhere around Canada. Mm -hmm. There are many examples like this. If you watch that video, uh, uh, the one by Boyan Slat, the guy, he will show you things that they've collected themselves that was seen uh, of the, something that was thrown in seven, uh, 1970, was collected like last year or something, in the Pacific Ocean. Of course, no one is going to go in the middle of the ocean and throw something there. They probably threw it some, yeah, he found a hat actually, it was from the Japan war, so it was probably thrown from here. <laughs> okay, maybe even from a plane, but it is so amazing, these things are still sitting there for 50 years or more. Does anyone else want to come and try? This is interesting, you get to see who wants to come. Can I go again? Okay, come. Yeah. No one wants to come. Show us what if you do it in South Africa. Okay, maybe try. South Africa. Africa. Where is he going? You know where South Africa, Africa. Africa. Yeah. Yeah. on the map. Yeah. I'm sure you know where you are. I'll go close to where we are. Yeah. So say, okay, you're throwing it in Cape Town. Port Elizabeth, yeah. And now let's see where it goes. So actually this, <laughs> this simulation also helps you see where these five giants oh we are talking about. Man. So it goes all the way to Australia. So you see our one is still there, and the other one is continuing by the way. While this one is flowing, that one is still there. In the... Okay, I think I clicked there by mistake. <laughs> but just to show you, by doing this simulation, that's how they find out there are these five gyres. One is sitting here. Uh, where are we now? Okay, in the Pacific Ocean actually, there are the two main ones. They are big. So when we say Great Pacific Patch, if you heard about that, it's not one place, it's actually two. One up, one down. Okay? But because it's so huge now, by now it has merged and looked as it was. But the gyres is two. And then, so maybe you want to try one in the Atlantic Ocean? And then you'll find where the Bermuda Triangle is. So here. Yeah, you can try anywhere. Maybe up so we can see. Your friends can see where the Bermuda Triangle is. So say we throw something from a ship here. 
and then see if we through this simulation you get to see where the Bermuda Triangle actually sits. You see all the ways right all the way there? And if you remember earlier the picture where it showed the triangle, that's exactly where it is. So there you go, now you know what the Bermuda Triangle is. All it is is a giant and it's not the only one, there are five of them all over the planet. And this is what this guy, Dorian Slack, uh, is using as strategy. So he'll place this thing, he'll start with the uh, Pacific Ocean of course, where it's more serious. Okay, thank you. And eventually move to the other places. So let's get back to the slide. Okay, so that's the website. I'm going to give you the slide so you can find it then. And uh, you can go and play around. Especially you, I'm sure you're going to try all over the group, right? Yeah. So there you go. These are just some uh, information of how much will be collected, say, five years. Basically, half the Pacific patch will be cleared within five years. The initial plan was 10 years, but now because they are making a better mechanism system, it has reduced considerably. And that's the collector, by the way, which will also not look like that now. It will look, it is much smaller. It's, it's a new kind of project he's designing. And that's the guy sitting there. He was sitting here with all the waste. They actually collect these waste and make research about it. So he also worked uh, himself in the field. That he's on Facebook also. You can uh, read about him and find out on Facebook. He's there and that's what he wrote last month to start next year. Okay, here they wrote next year, but it's actually December. It will start. Could be clean in five years. So that's the latest. You can read about him. And uh, so like I said, he's a young guy. Okay, and look at his thing. It's blowing up. His Facebook has like, he has like thousands of likes and shares. So this is not only about sharing Facebook, yes? What happens to the plastic after it is collected? What happens to it? Oh yeah, so his plan is to bring it back to land and re to uh, recycling. Okay. So use it. Yeah, they already. Uh, sorry. So they bring it by ship. Yeah, yeah. So they will have these huge tanks that they are, they will be using to bring back the plastic. Yeah, and I think uh, I don't know if it's uh, Japan or Korea. So there are many countries who are helping in this project now to fund this, and main is his country itself, Poland. So this is, there are massive funding behind this. There are lots of companies involved. So there will probably be recycling companies as well. Uh, involved. Yeah. So that's really cool that he, yes, so the idea, yes, is to bring it back to land. So this is why he said, uh, this is not the solution. He said he's doing it, it's a solution to clean the ocean. He even shows a graph how uh, this is going to fall completely down to zero. But this can only happen if we stop growing as well. Because if we keep polluting, uh, it's not going to make much difference. So we must stop uh, buying checkers minis and pink face stickies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not they sure what the... They don't minis They do. They do. They Yeah, but plastic is a serious issue. Okay, that's... Uh, how is... How am I, am I doing this time? Okay, because this is another simulation I wanted to show. That. I'm almost done now, this is the end, but I think this simulation are quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. So, okay, then I'll show you this one. If it works. This one, because we've seen the ocean now, and then maybe by now you are still like, oh, this doesn't concern me, I stay in mid mm -hmm. So this one will show you that. No, this is a research done a few days ago. I mean, published a few days ago, 7 June. Okay? And this one is about rivers. And it shows you about, so you can read about it. It says modeling inputs of plastic from rivers to the marine environment. <laughs> so then, you will be surprised to see that wherever you stay, okay, so this is the map. Wherever you stay, by the way, Mauritius is there. 
So small, it's just a dot. You can't see it because it's too small. Let's try find midline level. So if I have to now I'm going to try find midline, hopefully if I know a bit of the map. Okay, there is South Africa. How many of you learn geography here? You learn geography? Do you know the name of the rivers and all? Okay. Okay, so be the orange, orange river. Be the the so now we can see Durban appearing in Johannesburg. Mm. Alright, we keep zooming. Pretoria come inside. So if I'm right, like, midland is between Pretoria oh. and Johannesburg. Right? Oh. I'm not oh. sure if you pick midland, but what I'm trying to show you is wherever you stay, they are all rivers. We have one here, it's called the XK mm, yes, okay. Okay? Can we show you? I'm not going to zoom more because... Okay, clean it up, it's been so many companies yeah. clean it up. Yeah, I'm not changing it. Okay, so you see, what, what this map shows is there are rivers all over the world. Mm. And they are all connected to the ocean, of course. Okay? So this was just to give you an idea, you are also on the map. Okay. So, I'm not sure if it's going to show midland, but basically you got the idea, okay? Now if we zoom back, look at this. This is the whole Africa now. And then see how many rivers there are. Okay? And this if you can read, it's quite small here. It says rivers are a major source of plastic waste in the ocean. Estimate 1 to 2 million metric tons of plastic. Yeah. Go so from most the, of the plastic, sorry? Go from over to the ocean. Yeah. Go from over to the ocean. Yes, that's okay. what this, this research is about. It uh, shows, so this is simulation of course. So how a simulation works is they use real information meaning they would have analyzed rivers all across the world and then they make a model. It's called a mathematical model. By the way, if you love to study maths, that's something you can look at, is to design mathematical models. You can, you can model anything from a spread of a disease, from a spread of waste, from you saw about the ocean, we can simulate how a waste is going around. So many things you can model with maths. So this is also based on maths. Sometimes you think it's just numbers like I saw you are doing this calculation here but what you will be surprised is algebra and these basic things that you learn this is actually used in real situation to do these studies so don't worry you are not learning things that is useless okay all the maths you learn has a purpose somewhere and this is one main of them to do simulation <laughs> Okay, so if you are not enjoying it that much now, maybe try find on the internet users of maths as modeling, and then you'll be surprised the things that can be done with maths. Okay, so it is here currently and every year. Oh, it's every year. So, uh, and they even found out 86% is coming mainly from Asia. Okay, now that's sad. Why? Because that shows in terms of the importance of knowledge, the importance of awareness. Because if we look at European countries, people are tend to be more educated, to learn about the ocean, to learn about cleanliness, to learn about the need not to pollute. And this is a bit missing in the countries, Asian countries, and which somehow is related to this information given here. So in a way, you are lucky to learn about this and you will be much much luckier when you help you actually help in this so uh, that's just another solution uh, if you know what is this mm -hmm. you will find it funny yeah. if you don't know what is it i'm not telling you <laughs> <laughs> this is not for kids this is not for kids no, it's actually for everyone so they all know what is this you know what is it? Do you know what they, they're going to keep quiet. 
<laughs> anyway, there's nothing to keep quiet. Okay. This, okay, I'll tell you that. This is a drug, okay, which, which the, it's forbidden to grow this. But then the amazing thing is we can make plastic out of it. So that's a controversial topic, I won't get into this, but they are doing research with it. And if we make plastic from this, it is biodegradable. Mm -hmm. So maybe when you grow up, you can find some uh, solutions. solutions. <laughs> All right. And then there's another one, if you don't want to get into the risky business. Now that one is much better. They actually found a bacteria that eat plastic. Now, again, this doesn't mean, okay, we can keep polluting. No. This is, these are solutions that can help the situation, but it doesn't mean we should rely on this. But what is nice is this was found last year, a plastic, uh, a bacteria that eat plastic, and now they are starting the actual project uh, this year. Uh, I can't remember the country. Oh yeah, this is being done in Israel, uh, in the university in Israel, that starting the actual project where they will use the bacteria to eat the plastic, the waste. All right, so if we move on, we, we have reached the end. But now to end, I will show you one last thing, because you will be surprised, uh, just to get an idea, how old are you? 12. Okay, these kids were smaller than you when they did this. Now, it says here, save our ocean. So I will show you one last website. It's called One More Generation. Basically, when they were watching something, they were saying, oh my gosh, okay? And then, uh, that's what they keep saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So then when they made their website, they used these letters, OMG. And then, here, yeah, I'm not gonna go through the whole website. I was shocked, I thought I was reading wrong. I'm like, maybe there's a misprint or something. But then I had to read the whole website, I found out, no, I was wrong. This is right. It says here, this organization was founded by eight-year-old Carter Rice, seven-year-old Olivia. This is a company which helps uh, the world in terms of, it's not only ocean, this one. It says here they, they did uh, cheetah adoption in South Africa. Uh, here it says they help in the, the marine wildlife that was affected by the Gulf oil spill, which was a real big problem for the ocean. Four months collecting animal rescue supplies. The two spent five days delivering their supplies and so the two, these are kids, their pictures are there somewhere. Okay, there they are. This is one of them. Okay. Oh, it's big enough. Yeah, that's a recent picture. They actually gave, a, you can find a TED talk, do you know what is a TED talk? So you can find their TED talk, it's somewhere on this website or just Google one more generation. And in that TED talk, they narrate uh, the story of how they started the project. And it can help you. Again, we are not telling you you should go to the same like them, but this is to show you that even as a child, the very little thing that you do, you can make a huge difference in the world. And nothing prevents you from doing things that they are doing also. Just joining their organization, just following up what they are doing will somehow help. And uh, this is for the teachers, if you are interested, they have developed curriculum for school, especially school like this, where you can have a sustainable syllabus, and they, it's like just like a subject like maths, physics, chemistry. So they, the information are there, and I will send it to you email, on email also. It's a fully developed curriculum, very nice, and they encourage schools to start uh, practicing that. So that's something that you might want to look at. All right, so, and that's the end of this presentation. Presentation, thank you very much. These are the pictures of my kids and the same for the That's me there. That was when I was in Okinawa, Okinawa with, uh, as physicists, we did to, to be thankful to that place where we stayed. We did a beach cleanup there, just one afternoon. And then, this is a picture that will remain forever. Because these are people 
some old I'm there. That's you. There. The I see you. <laughs> yeah, I was wearing an NYC t-shirt. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This this what's amazing is this picture of why I put it. These are people, uh, each of them are from a different country, from all over the world. So that one is from France, that one was from Turkey, this is from Japan, those I remember, China, and then from USA, from all over the place. Amazing. So it was nice to be there, there were 60 of us from all over the world. Wow. So that's one thing I like to share with them. Otherwise, this is one we did here in Durban. Uh, we usually do this every year. Uh, just there, there is an organization called KZN Beach Cleanup that do it every month. They do beach cleanup. Amazing. So also you can tell people about this, yeah. and they give free juice when you go clean the beach. <laughs> <laughs> also when they give you free juice in a plastic bottle. So in a plastic bottle. In a can, in and a they can. encourage you to throw back the can uh, in the things that they collect because they send it for recycling. Okay. So yeah. Because, yeah, once I joke with them, I'm saying, what about the can? And then they say, but you know, the things we are collecting, we send it for recycling. So, throw it here. <laughs> yeah, so it's cool. They thought even about that. And these are pictures uh, made by kids, and then they wrote this saying. So, this was written by 11 year old. Now she's grown up. But just to show you again, these are all things done by kids. Okay, so thank you. Thank and you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, chocolate. Yeah, sure, I'll get you.